Hello, uh, welcome back uh, to the Subsolar videos. In the first one, I showed you the, the basics of gameplay. It's really easy, so you may want to, to start with that one. And in this second one, I'm gonna talk about the, the infamous Vortex, the, the Vortex that causes so many problems to people. And uh, it's really easy to understand, and, and what you have to understand is that the Vortex is your friend, it's not your enemy, uh, unless you let it explode, and uh, I'm gonna talk about that uh, later. So, I'm gonna start a, a game. So, really, the Vortex, uh, what it does is that it attracts the photons that are around. And the more photons you get in your vortex, the better, because eventually when you put a bubble or a field on top of that vortex, then you'll catch everything in it. So instead of making a chain of, you know, 100 points, 200 points, 500, you'll end up making chains of like hundreds of thousands of points, literally, even to a million, if you're good enough. So you want that to grow that vortex. But the thing is that to be able to grow the vortex, you have to do multiple ones, one after another. Because they have a lifetime that's going to grow as you do multiple ones. So, I'm going to start. To create a vortex, you need to do at least 100 points in a chain. So at the beginning, you try to catch as many photons in one chain as you can. See, 132. That's alright. So I got my first vortex here. So not, what I don't want to do is catch everything in it already. There you go. If I do that, I'm going to create a new one. It's going to reset itself. See, 14 photons inside it. There, reset again, 14. Because each and every time you create a, a vortex, it kills the one that's in place. So, for instance, if I catch everything in that one, See, it disappeared and there's another one now. So, if you do that constantly, if you catch constantly what's inside it, then it's never gonna grow and you'll never get really good chains. So you don't want to do that. What you want to do is create a vortex and then... Okay, I'm gonna try to do one here. Okay. Now I want to create chains around the vortex and let it grow. See how that number grows? Because it attracts a lot of photons in its path. So that's what I want to do. I want to... Oops. I want to let it grow. So I just catched it, so there's a new one now. So I create chains around the vortex like that and I wait I have to wait until the last second just right up before it explodes to catch everything in it there you go so I'll show you again okay see it attracts the photons it grows attracts more photons when it's going to glow and do that noise, it's going to glow orange and do that noise, I want to create a field right on top of it and catch everything in it. Otherwise, it will explode in my face. Look, it's going to... See? There. I got everything in it, and I just have to finish my chain. And there you go. And now I just create a new, a new one that's going to last even longer. So you don't want to catch anything in it until you're forced to. So that's what you do. You just manage everything around. You make sure that none of the photons reach the bottom of the screen. And you feed your vortex, basically. That's all you want to do. You feed it until it reaches a certain point where it's going to explode. And then you catch everything in it. So see now, 34 photons, and you'll see, it will last longer and longer, 60, and still going up. And you see, I don't catch any anything around in it, I just catch around, because I want those photons to go inside it. It was about to explode, I catched everything in it, 
and I'm back with a new one. So really the key with the vortex is the timing. You need to feel and to know when it's going to explode and there are signs like it will glow orange and it will rotate faster and faster and when it's going to explode then you want to put your field on top and catch everything in it right at the center. See how big it becomes? One, there you go. Oh. That's it. And, th and this is how really you want to play the game. If you do that constantly, you realize that your vortex is going to grow really, really large and it's going to attract so many photons that you'll do like literally hundreds of thousands of points in one single chain. So don't do this. Don't catch anything inside it like that all the time because you reset it all the time and you don't want that. You want to let it grow. Okay, one last time. I let it grow. Don't take anything in it. And see, it's gonna, okay, it's gonna explode. There you go, one bubble on top of it. And that's it. And I have a new one now. I'll do it one more time. So you see how I place my bubbles around and it catches more and more particles and usually I, I use the first bubble there you go to catch everything in it and then I can decide where I want the new one so that's it for the vortex uh, if you do that uh, you realize that a lot of the missions are a breeze and uh, doing more than a million points which seems impossible at the beginning in survival mode is like super easy literally so I hope that helps and uh, and one more thing uh, all the concepts and everything that I explain in this uh, works for Love Battle Princess as well because it's essentially the same game with, with just a different theme. So um, let me know if you have any problem. You can reach uh, reach us on uh, uh, by mail at info at or you can uh, just uh, post in Touch Arcade. I hang out there regularly and uh, I'll try to help you out, guys. So um, that's it for now, and uh, I'll come up later with uh, new videos. <laughs>